Okay, so now we're gonna talk about another special effect called sponging. So I really like these sponges. This is a natural sponge. Yes, it's a sea sponge. Yes, it was once alive. I get it, I know. Um, but anyway, these are fantastic for getting really cool textures in your watercolor because they have all these varied edges on them. Unlike a man-made sponge, you can get a lot more texture out of them. Um, so when you first um, get a hold of it, it is gonna be very hard because these are used to having water in them. So one of the things that you need to do is probably take all your paintbrushes out of there and dip it, and my water thing is a little bit small, um, dip it in some water, and then wring it out. And then once you do that, you'll find that the edges that were in the water are now going to be very um, soft. So it's much more soft. So this is something you'll have to experience, but I can show you. But it's going to be much more soft after, you know, it's more spongy. Over here is still dry, so it's a lot harder to squeeze. And over here it's um, very wet so it's easier to squeeze. So one of the things that you can do with that is you can um, you can do one of two things. You can go right into the color so I can just take that that's already been watered down. That color is actually a little bit too new so you want to make sure that the color already has some water in it that you put in with your brush. Okay so I'm going to go back get some in there and then you can take that and it's almost like printmaking where you can just kind of put it on there. So this is really cool for um, trees and bushes and grass and other areas like that. So you can use sponging. The other thing that you can use sponging for is if you already have an area that has been um, painted on. So say you already have um, a wash or something like that that you're using. You can take that and then you can go back over top of it and then add some sponging in whatever color you want to use um, and then add some texture into it that way. So again, you can just either do it on dry paper, you can do it on wet paper that already has color, and the other thing you can do is you can go ahead and do it on um, dry paper that already has some color on it too. So um, let's just say, look, I can take this one, it's a couple different colors on it, and then I can put that over top and create some really fun textures that way too. So sponging, it's really cool. The only thing is make sure once you're done with it that you um, take it under the water, it's better than doing this, but if you take it under the water and clean it out once you're done and make sure that you squeeze it out because once that color dries in there, it's harder to get out. So make sure for the next person or for yourself that you clean out your sponges when you're finished with them. So that's called sponging.